Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we defeated Nimbasa City's gym leader, Eliza, and we obtained the Bolt Badge. Today, we're going to go ahead and make our way back to the Desert Resort. We're going to be doing a little bit of backtracking and see what we can find around here. I told you guys that we were going to be coming back to the Desert Resort and then going to the Relic Castle. So we're going to see if we can get there today. Let's use that Repel, though, and take our first couple steps into the Sandstorm. We're going to jump into a battle, though, since this is a nurse here. It's always good to battle the nurse so they can heal you up. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here against Nurse Mariah. She has one Pokemon. It's going to be a Gliscor. And we're going to go ahead and send out Dory, who I have in front. So let's go ahead and see what Dory can do here against the Gliscor. Level 22. I'm feeling pretty good about Dory. But we're going to go ahead and switch things up and bring out Roarin Jr. Gliscor is a ground type, so we're going to need our water type to step up a little bit and to start knocking these Pokemon out. I also want to give you guys a very big thank you for all of your tips and your comments. Make sure you go ahead and click that like button. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. We're going to be hanging in there a little bit, though. That acrobatics did a lot more than I thought. We were down to 35 HP. It's a good thing that we landed our water pulse. And with that, the Gliscor is down. So we're still in this, guys. We're doing pretty good. And we defeated Nurse Mariah. That is our first battle of today. And that's how I like to start things off. You got to stretch your Pokemon out. You got to get them ready for all the battles to come. Because I'm sure there's going to be a bunch around here. Let's see what else we can find. There's a little Pokeball. With that, we got ourselves a Focus Sash. That's a pretty good item that was still over here on this wall. A little bit surprised that I didn't find that one before. Let's talk to this guy, though. He is going to give us a soft sand. We don't got to worry about the soft sand. We already have the soft sand on top, so I think we're going to be good. Let's go a little bit further up, then, and make our way to... We are almost there, but we're going to have another battle before we do enter the Relic Castle. So let's go ahead and jump into this battle as well and see what kind of Pokemon this Psychic is going to have. We're going up against a bunch of Psychics here. And we're going up against a Pidgeotto. It's a good thing that we do have Dory up in front. So let's go ahead and see what Dory can do against this Pidgeotto. Level 22. Once in a while, Dory comes through for us. And I feel like today is going to be one of those days. So let's start to do something. The Poison Sting has hit. That's what I like to see. Whenever the Poison Sting hits, it just puts a smile on my face. Because I know how much damage Dory can truly begin to do with the Venno Shock. So let's drop that Venno Shock. I don't think that Pidgeotto knows what's coming. That Pidgeotto better be a little bit nervous. It better start getting a little bit scared of this poison. The Pidgeotto is down. And with that, we're going to grow to level 26. This is also a pretty good place to train up Pokemon. As you guys can tell, some of our Pokemon could use some XP before we make our way to the next route. Because so I feel like the next couple routes are going to be pretty tough. So with that, let's go ahead and send out Medley. We're going to be going up against Scyther. And let's see what Medley can do here, ladies and gentlemen. Scyther is level 22. So I'm going to go ahead and go for... Cannot believe that missed. It's okay. Once in a while, our things are going to miss around here. So let's go for it one more time. Maybe this time around, we'll actually ran, land our rock throw. So let's go for that rock throw. The Scyther is down, ladies and gentlemen. And we're doing good. Nobody is stopping us from making our way into the Relic Castle. With that, we are now ready to make our way inside. So let's go ahead and step down this place. We are now in the Relic Castle, ladies and gentlemen. There are two things I learned. If you try to walk through the middle, you'll fall. If you try to run through it, you'll fall. So what you were telling me about quicksand is anything else but walking through it, you will fall down it. That makes a whole lot of sense. I don't know how quicksand works. I haven't been out there to a big desert where there's quicksand, but I feel like it would be a scary thing. If all of a sudden you're just kind of walking through the sand, you know, just kind of walking through there, and then you just start sinking down, and then before you know it, you can't really get out of the sand. Then before you know it, the sand is up to your, you know, pants, and the sand keeps rising higher and higher, and I think that's kind of how quicksand works. Don't really know. I wouldn't want to try it out myself, and hopefully I don't ever have to, but it does sound like a bit of a scary situation. I don't know how they put those sand pits here in Pokemon, but for some reason, they're trying to get us to go down that quicksand. So we defeated another Psychic here, and we can head down the stairs. But I'm a little bit tempted now to make our way down here. So let's make our way down the quicksand. And I think these are the two spots that are just up above. So it's not that bad. They just bring you right back down. It's always good to check these spots too. Because we would never have had the chance to battle this great trainer that we're going to be going up against. 
I gotta tell you guys, whenever I see the desert resort though, and the relic castle, it makes me want to take a trip out to Egypt, and just go out there and see the sand, see some of the pyramids, see some of these sort of things. I want to go see some different terrain. This is the terrain I grew up with. I've always grown up in such a tropical climate that there's so much different areas out there in the world that I still haven't had the chance to see. It must be pretty crazy to be out there and seeing just everything covered in sand. It must be a very, very cool feeling. You know, I've seen sand plenty of times at the beach, but it's a whole nother experience when you truly go out there to an area that is covered in it. And that's pretty much what our character is going through here in the Relic Castle. You can understand how things get a little bit difficult throughout this game if our character is having to deal with that. So I did tell you guys that we can catch a new Pokemon. So I think we're going to do just that. Let's run around. I'm surprised this Repel hasn't worn off yet. I guess we haven't took that many steps. And there we go. Let's see what kind of Pokemon we are going to find, ladies and gentlemen. We already ran into it. And this Pokemon is going to be... Oh, boy. We got ourselves a Bear Tick. So, Bear Tick level 21, ladies and gentlemen. And that is a brand new typing for us to be adding to our team. And we're going to go for it. We need to catch this Pokemon. Now, I don't want to knock this Pokemon out. And I feel like Dory could possibly knock it. And I don't want this Pokemon to knock us out either. At least it got poisoned. But it's also going for a couple Fury Swipes. Calm down. All right, hit three times. As long as it doesn't hit it more than that, we're going to be A-OK. -okay. So, at least we got the Bear Tick poison. That's a pretty big deal right there. Let's switch out, though. Let's make sure we can catch this Pokemon. Roaring Jr. should be able to handle the Bear Tick pretty well. We're going to be able to tank out all these Ice-type moves. As you guys are able to see, an Ice-type Pokemon would be a really great addition to our roster. Now, we do have some good type variety, but it would be good to add some more of that and get some of those types of Pokemon that we haven't caught yet. So let's throw out the Pokeball and let's see what we can do against this Bear Tick level 21. I think the poison lowers it a little bit. We'll be able... We got it. There we go. Gotcha. Bear Tick was caught. We caught it with a Pokeball, ladies and gentlemen. One of our easiest catches yet. With that Bear Tick's data was added to the Pokedex. It's the freezing Pokemon. It's an ice type. They love the cold seas of the north. They create pathways across the ocean waters by freezing their own breath. So we're going to go ahead and give this Pokemon a nickname. Now, it just reminded me of something when it just said it loves the North. And I kind of like that. I told you guys I'm a big fan of Game of Thrones. And there's this big wolf in Game of Thrones. This is big white wolf. And it is called Ghost. And that is what we're going to be calling our Bear Tick. So Ghost is now transferred to the PC. And we have added an Ice-type Pokemon to our team, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be a very, very good Pokemon. I could definitely see an ice type switching things up for us. So let's go ahead and see what else we can find around here. At least so far, we caught a brand new Pokemon. We've defeated some trainers. We're doing very good, and we are looking very, very strong here in the Relic Castle. I'm going to go back around, though, and let's head down the stairs this time. Let's see what we can find down this way. We're still exploring for everything. There's an item up ahead, too. But let's go ahead and jump into this battle and see what kind of Pokemon she is going to have. For us to go up against adding that bear tick is going to be really really good i'm also glad that we've had the chance to catch so many pokemon that we have been able to swap them in i think it's always a good idea to swap in the pokemon that you get throughout a randomizer nuzlocke and keep them all at a good level if possible train them up if you can because they are always gonna be there ready to switch out whenever you need them and that's one of the best things that you can have give yourself some options in a randomizer nuzlocke so you will have better possibilities better things to do you'll have a better chance of succeeding the developer is down so it did not have that great of a chance there because dory is a beast grew to level 27 and we defeated the psychic so hopefully that'll be one of the last psychics around here don't know how many more are left in this area that seems to be it down here though we got ourselves tm56 fling my goodness we couldn't have found a better tm Yes, yes, we could have, guys. We could have ran into Earthquake. We could have ran into a lot more things there. But we got Fling. Hopefully, we'll be finding a couple other TMs around here. With that, let's go ahead and make our way back out. So, I've brought us back to Castelia City. We're actually really close to the Desert Resort. So, I thought we'd come right back here to the Battle Company, which is this building that's very, very big. We're going to head inside of here because this is one of the tips you guys left me. So, thank you guys so much for that. If you talk to this old man up here, he's going to give you an XP share. And that is an item that we will definitely be using during our adventure. So, an XP share can be very, very good. 
and I definitely will be using it for our Pokemon to keep up in levels. Our Pokemon could use that. So, with that, let's go ahead and make our way back to Nimbasa City! Now from Nimbasa, we are ready to head on out. We've done enough backtracking, ladies and gentlemen. Hold it. What are you guys up to here anyway? Nothing. We're just standing here. So what did we do to you that you're bothering us with questions? You didn't do anything. Not to me, at least. But I can never forgive you, Pokemon thieves like you. Just to let you know, you're about to feel my rage. Yeah, trainers sure are unruly these days. Is that it? You're mistaking your Pokemon strength for your own? I couldn't care less about a run like you, but I don't like being messed with. Rodri, cover me! Now you see us? Now he's telling us to cover him once he's got a four-on-one going on? Well, we totally went in the wrong turn. We should have gone to the right side. Over here to the left, you guys can see that there's some trouble. Let's go ahead and jump into this. <laughs> I saw this Pokemon two years ago, and I've been training ever since. It's tough. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Team Plasma. So let's go ahead and take on these Team Plasma grunts. And let's see what these Team Plasma grunts are going to have in store for us. Once in a while, they have some strong Pokemon. And I think they might just have that again today. A spin that's going to be coming out. It is level 27. Now, we do have Medley up in front. You guys know that Medley is very, very strong. I believe in Medley a lot. Medley has been a very strong Pokemon. And now we fell asleep. Are, are you serious, Medley? You're going to go ahead and fall asleep on us during a battle against Team Plasma? All right, we got to switch out. Let's go ahead and bring Joy out here. See what Joy can do against the Spinda. Now, we are a little bit under the levels. Joy is 25, while the Spinda is 27. But I think we're going to hang in there. Let's go for something big. Let's go for that Swift. It's always good to have a couple items here and there to help you out throughout the day. With that, the Spinda has gone down, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what I like to see. Let's keep this going. We defeated the Team Plasma Grunt. And we're not letting up anytime soon. Our boy Hugh needs our help. You gotta be kidding. And I bullied so much over the last two years, toughing it up, too. Looks like I'm up next. Just to warn you, I show no mercy. We don't show any mercy either. So let's go ahead and jump into the next battle against Team Plasma. And while we are battling Team Plasma, we're going to take this moment to jump back into some of the craziness. You guys yesterday told me some of your biggest fears. Some of those fears that really freak you out. I told you guys that mine was skydiving. Being up there in a plane and just looking down, even if you have a parachute, something about it just doesn't feel right for me, and I feel like it would be very, very terrifying. I don't know if I could really jump out. Maybe the day will come that I do it, that I really do just kind of get my braveness together and just go up there and jump out of it, but I think it won't be for a while. What really did stand out to me, though, was as I was reading your guys' comments, I realized that the fears that you guys were putting were very similar to fears that... I've had or I do have you be very very interested to know that if you go back and read some of those comments you can probably find at least one person that has the same fear as you so that's something that should help you out because you're not alone we've all had those fears in life I remember being a kid and growing up and getting older I've definitely been scared of a lot five years ago Team Plasma stole my little sister's purloin it had been given to her as a present. I was only a little kid. I couldn't do anything. So, so that's why I have to get stronger. Good work. I knew you had good instincts. Well then... He healed up our Pokemon. Listen up. You fill up that Pokedex. Keep getting stronger and stronger and back me up. I'll be counting on you from here on out too. We got your back, Hugh. He is going to be rescuing a Pokemon that was kidnapped from his little sister and what a better way than to step up to what you're scared of than what Hugh is doing he's stepping up to team plasma who stole a pokemon from him and that's what it's all about as i was telling you guys you got to step up to your fears you got to conquer them that's the biggest thing look who it is it's our good old friend bianca nice timing i was wanting to give you this we obtained hmo2 fly there we go there we go we can finally take off Ta-da! It's a hidden machine fly! When you use this move outside of battle, you know the places you want to go, like a Pokemon Center. By the way, Rodri, do you know about hidden grottos? I know a little bit about hidden grottos. Great, you might find one soon. Wait! 
Over there. I heard something from that direction. I have good ears. Hey, come with me. So it looks like Bianca's gonna be taking us for a bit of a ride. Where are we going, Bianca? It's a little bit quiet back here. It's a little bit private back here. Bianca, there's nobody else back here. Sounds coming from somewhere around here. Yeah, from us. There's nobody else here. Whoa, here it is. There's a gap and it looks like we can fit through. Come on, let's have a look. We found a narrow... Will you No, I'm not going to follow a narrow path. This is too good to pass up. Let's go in. I guess we have no choice. We've stepped inside of the hidden grotto, ladies and gentlemen. And there's a Pokemon up ahead. Hey, a Pokemon. Pokemon that hides in a place like this might be pretty amazing. Amazing. This is a huge discovery. An incredible find. I'll go check a lot of other trees to see if there are more hidden grottos. So she's going to go take a look around the hidden grottos. And it looks like there's a Pokemon waiting for us. So let's go ahead and battle this Pokemon. And let's go ahead and take it on. So we are going to be catching a Minchino. I believe this is going to count as the Pokemon for this route. Since it kind of put us into that encounter. It's kind of cool. I mean, she knows useful. So we're going to try to catch it at least. We'll do what we can. We'll catch any Pokemon that we can. And if this is the Pokemon for this area, then so be it, ladies and gentlemen. Because we've had some really good Pokemon caught so far. And I'm sure we'll have some more great Pokemon as we get a little bit further into it. Let's go ahead and throw some of this Minchino, though. It's already in the yellow. We have to catch it. I feel like this is the one Pokemon that we're going to be able to catch on this route. This is our first encounter here, truthfully, because the Hidden Grotto is located here. So let's go ahead and see that Pokeball will stick. And there we have it. That was actually very easy to catch. With that, Minchino has been caught. The data was added to the Pokedex. And it looks like we got ourselves a brand new Pokemon, the Chinchilla Pokemon. It's a normal type. Minchino greet each other by grooming one another thoroughly with their tails. Let's go ahead and give this little guy a nickname. He's a cute little guy. We got we to gotta call him something good. We are going to call this little guy Mint. So with that, Mint was transferred to the PC. I thought that was a cool little name for Minchino Mint. So he has been sent out, and we are going to go ahead and step on out through this narrow gap. I don't know why there's a narrow path here. One of the weirdest hidden grottos that I've found. But maybe there's some more hidden grottos around there with some crazy Pokemon. You never know. She's selling us some five Hondu berries. We're going to pick up the Hondu berries. If anybody sells me berries, I'm going to buy them. I, I like fruit. I like eating. Why not eat some berries? Pokemon movie. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see what we got going on. What are you guys doing? You got a battle? Let's do it. So far, so good. Let's step inside of this little place. What's up? What's going on here? You are the humble maid looking to match someone's appetite. Smells gourmet. Do we have a wonderful ingredient in our bag? We do have a couple good ingredients. I have a moo, moo milk here. Yeah, what's up? Well, you want a moo, moo milk? Well, for 500? Oh, I don't know about that. I think right now we're good with Poke Cash. So we're just going to keep our moo, moo milks and keep on heading out. So with that, let's go ahead and see what else we can find here in this route. What's up? This guy is not going to battle us. We don't have a prop case, so he won't battle us. But hey, it looks like somebody here is going to battle us. So let's go ahead and jump into our next battle and see what we can do here. Definitely looking forward to taking on Dancer Brian. He's going to send out a Yuxi. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. We're going to be going up against another legendary Pokemon. A Yuxi is out. I bet you Joy is getting excited here, guys. Our Joy is definitely getting pumped up to see another of the legendary Lake Trio. This is very, very cool to see. Love seeing some Sinnoh Pokemon around here. The Lake Trio is a very cool trio. I think they are very underrated. Let's go ahead and see what we can do against this Yuxi then. We're going to send out Dory. And Dory, get ready to go up against a legendary. We've been up against a Lake Trio Pokemon before. Joy was pretty difficult to catch. So we're going to try to do the best we can here to win this battle overall. We're down to 26 HP. And at least our bite did a little something. But we are in a tough spot here going up against this Yuxi. I thought Dory was going to be doing a little bit more damage there with the bite. But that really didn't end up working out well. So I think I'm going to go ahead and switch out. Let's go ahead and bring out... So yeah, let's do it. We're going to go ahead and switch it out. 
We're going to go ahead and bring Toph out here. And Toph should be able to handle down a Yuxi. At least I'm hoping so. We're about to find out. That confusion did a good amount. But we need something that's going to do a good amount too. Let's see how much the Metal Claw is going to do to this Pokemon. It got it to the yellow. But that confusion is hurting me way too much. 22 HP. I got to get Toph out of here. We got to get our Pokemon out of here. Toph and Dory are way too low going up against this Yuxi. So let's send out Roarin Jr. against the Yuxi. Let's see what Roarin Jr. can do against his legendary. Roarin Jr. is a big guy. He knows what's up. He knows how it's been going in this adventure. He understands when he's got to take one for the team, get in there, and, you know, ensure that everybody does well. So the Yuxi is going to be a little bit tougher to take down. Let's go ahead and go for our Water Pulse. It's going for the Endure, so it's trying to last as long as it can. And that's okay. I would probably be doing the same if, uh, you know, the legendaries were coming out. If you're a legendary Pokemon and you're battling your way, you're probably going to do everything you can in your power to make sure you don't go down. So with that, the Yuxi has fainted. We're going to gain some good XP, ladies and gentlemen. And we defeated Dancer Brian. Here I was thinking that we were going to have to dance off for it. We already did a little bit of that strutting on the runway. So we already learned a couple moves from Eliza. Wouldn't be that bad to go into a dance battle up next. I feel pretty confident. I really do think like we could do it. There's a lot of people gathered around here though. And there seems to be something going on. What's up with these guys? I do see that Pokeball up there. So before we do talk to them, let's go back around. Let's go get ourselves that Pokeball. We're going to get every item that we can here on this route. It already made us catch a Pokemon. So now we're going to hope for some luck in the item department. And we're about to find out how that's going to go. Let's keep going to the left and there we have it we got ourselves a flame plate i'll take that a flame plate's not too bad we don't have any fire type pokemon though that could really help us out Always some good XP. We're going to get a Cherry Berry. And now with that, let's go ahead and make our way back around. Don't think there's going to be anything left over here. So let's see what all this commotion is about. What's up? You have four gym badges. You might be able to defeat Charles. Please beat him for me. Charles. So it's probably this guy on the bike. So we're going to have a Pokemon battle here. Let's go ahead and heal up some of our Pokemon. Now, I do have Super Potions, so let's go ahead and use Super Potions on all of our Pokemon. It's good to get your Pokemon nice and healed up, especially for this battle. Why are there so many people gathered around here, though? I'm a heartbreaker. My name's Charles. I want to get the attention of a girl I like, so I'm asking a new style Pokemon battle he called Rotation Battle. Want to learn about it? In Rotation Battle send out three Pokemon at a time in battle. When Pokemon is lead, it takes a lead position. The trick is each turn you can change, and that's a rough explanation of Rotation Battles. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure we're going to be jumping into a rotation battle. So let's go ahead and get ready for this. Here we go. Rodri versus Charles. We're going to be taking on Charles in our first rotational battle here in Pokemon Black 2. He's going to send out some strong Pokemon. And there is a Victory Bell, a Grumpig, and a Magneton. And we have Rogue, Medley, and Toph up in front. Let's go for that wing attack then against the Victory Bell. It should do a good amount of damage. And the Victory Bell is down, ladies and gentlemen. We got this. I'm feeling pretty good about this battle. If that's how things are going to start off, we're going to gain some levels. We're going to gain some good XP. And now let's see what's going to happen here in this battle next. Okay, so next up is going to be the Grumpig. Not really sure how this rotational thing works. But let's see what we can do. I think it's going to be good for us to attack. So let's just try to attack this Grumpig. It's only level 26. We're level 27. It switched to the Magneton. I don't think that Rock Throw is going to do that much to it. It's going for the Mirror Shot. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, that's it. Oh, man. That's our first Pokemon down, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Okay. The Magneton took down Medley. That was a bit unexpected. Did not think a Pokemon would go down. Of course it would be here in the rotational battle. Okay. So, rotational battle. What in the heck is going on here with this rotational battle? 
We're gonna switch out to Dory, so our Pokemon went down. So we have to send out a Pokemon that was still chilling with us. Let's see what we can do here then. We're going up against a Magneton. My goodness, this battle just took a turn for the difficult. I did not think we were gonna lose a Pokemon there. So let's just hang in here. Let's play smart. We already lost one Pokemon here in this rotational battle. Let's see what Dory can do with the paralysis. I'm gonna see, uh, I think it's gonna be a good opportunity for us to switch. So let's go for that dig. Okay, the Grumpig also switched. This is such a mess of a battle. I thought having Toph up in front would be good against the Magneton. But we're confused now. The Montoff. My goodness, we are freaking confused. All right, we need to go for another one, though. Let's just go for the dig. It's going to go for the Zen Headbutt. We just got to hang in there a little bit, and I'm sure we'll be okay. We got critted? Okay. Come on, Toph. You have got to be kidding me. No. What in Arceus just happened? How did that... We got critted and we didn't get our move off. My goodness. That is two Pokemon down here in the rotational battle. I have been doing some serious work throughout this randomizer Nuzlocke. And I cannot believe that it would be here in this mess of a rotational battle. That we would lose two of our Pokemon. That is tough and medley down. Arceus, what are you doing? Why have you forsaken us here in this rotational battle? We need to try our best here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for that swift and see what we can do. We have this Magneton and this Grumpig to go up against. The thing is, this Grumpig could probably knock out Rogue. And then this Magneton could definitely knock out Roran Jr. Oh boy, we are in a tough spot. We got thrown into a pretty difficult rotational battle. We just got to hang in there. At least we do have Joy still going. The Paralysis is still in effect. But Joy is a strong legendary Pokemon. We just got to hang in there. We can tank out the Zen Headbutts. At least we are Psychic so we can hang out. We can hold out against this Grumpig. But that Magneton is the one that's got me worried most of all. Seeing that monster out. We should have been a little bit better prepared. How can you even be better prepared for that in a rotational battle? You just got to hope for the best here at this point. And I cannot believe that's how it goes. Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, that's how the cookie crumbles. Our adventure has been going very, very smooth so far. But things are starting to pick up. And that's how it's going to go. We got to take out this mirror shot, please. All right. It didn't do that much that time around. We got to hang in there. Let's go for that swift. If we can keep going for this swift, I think we might be able to take down this magneton. So the mirror shot isn't doing that much. It is a steel type move. So I think we're going to be okay. Let's see how much that Swift does to the Magneton. We got it down to the 1 HP mark. But this time around, we're not waiting for a crit to land. We're not playing that stuff. I can't believe a crit landed and then our confusion knocked us out. That is just some bad odds. That is just some bad odds right there. Okay, we just got to hang in here. We got to wrap this battle up. Four Toph. Four Medley. That's who we're doing this for, ladies and gentlemen. The Pokemon that have been with us from the beginning of this adventure. We're going to do it for them. We're not letting this rotational battle put any more hurt onto us. So let's go for that Swift. The Magneton is down. So we are okay. Just the Grumpig is left. And let's go ahead and see what we can do against this Grumpig now. Now that the Grumpig is the only one left. I feel like we can actually bring Roaring Jr. out here. We don't have to worry about this Electric-type Pokemon going crazy. Electric-type Pokemon, they can be very, very scary. So the Grumpig is up in front. I'm going to go ahead and switch out then. I'm going to go ahead and bring out Roaring Jr. We'll put Joy back in. And then let's see what Roaring Jr. can do here. Hopefully, this will be it to wrap up this battle. Because it has been quite the battle. I'm going to have to take you know, a little bit of time to think about everything that happened here in this battle. And how we're going to step up and bounce back from it. Because we do have another crit. Alright. No more crits. No more crits from this Grumpig. I'm honestly a little bit nervous that things, this thing's about to crit us again. We can't let him crit us. There's no way this thing's going to crit us. I'm not letting a Pokemon take us down like that. So let's go ahead and get prepared. Another Confuse Race coming out. 
the Grumpig has to be one of the most annoying Pokemon that we've gone up against. I was just telling you guys, too, how the confusion, it always messes up our routine. It always messes up our strategy. And it really did do that today. What can I say, ladies and gentlemen? Tough battle. Tough battle. Even Medley going down there, that Magneton had us. It, it really is strong. The steel hits the rock, and then the electric knocks out the flying for us. So it's kind of like a, a dual Pokemon ready to take us down there. We defeated Charles, though, and we got 800 for winning. Jeez, that's embarrassing. Getting to school without us playing to teach. Still, you have potential. You have to stand your Pokemon to win a rotational battle. You really do have to understand your Pokemon. I'm a heartbreaker. My name's Charles. Riding a bike and coming to win fits. Uh, like me. So with that, guys, Charles is going to go ahead and ride off. You were great. Charles, too. Well, you know, we were okay. Charles was pretty good, too. Thank you, guys. It is too bad that two of our Pokemon got knocked out, though. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, next time we're going to have to add some new Pokemon to our team. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. Go ahead and click that like button if you're new to the channel. Click that subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.